Hi, I came from work the other day, and I saw your video, and thank you so much for making that, because what I was thinking, you were basically putting into words, and it was so, so true, like, <clears throat> sorry about that, like, you cannot stress that enough. I worked at a Walmart, and I started off as a cashier, and been a cashier for a very long time, and since September, not September, November of last year, I became a CSM, which is a customer service manager, like the supervisor of the cashiers. And I really want to add my little two cents in there because, like, um, <clears throat> there's uh, more that I want to add. Like, you see, like, all sorts of customers. I'm just going to go through the ongoing situations that you get, the main ones. The very first one that you get a lot and a lot of customers that ask this and I have still to this day do not understand why they feel the need to ask this. You are at a register, you're done your shift or you're going for a break. You have a closing sign that's right there. It says closed right in front of your face. Like there's no way you could miss it. However, the customer always has to come and ask, hey, excuse me, are you closed? And it's like, uh, no, my register is open. I just put that sign to make my register look pretty. Obviously, if there's a sign that says closed, of, of course it's closed. The cashier will not be just tormenting you by putting the sign to trick you when really they're open. No, of course not. Like, why would they do that? Like, it, no. Then, the second point I want to come to is, uh, till counting or like counting money like a cashier or like another like a, an associate will be counting money the cust mo most customers just cannot wait until they're done feels the need to always come up and ask that question they think that question is so important that it's worth like interrupting the associate while they're counting so that they lose their train of thought and they have to recount like you all know like when it comes to counting anything it doesn't have to be money anything that's in large quantity you kind of need that concentration because seven times out of ten you will lose your train of thought and you'll have to recount it again especially if it's as important as money but do not get me wrong you do have the customers who do have the consideration who see that you're counting or do acknowledge if they did not see you they do acknowledge it and just do apologize that they interrupted you those customers are not the ones that I'm talking about the ones who just still see that your county do not care they think that their statement is more important the third one that I want to talk about is uh, like I've seen this happen in other places to like customers they insist on coming to a place and then they always not always like I have it sometimes they feel the need to always go okay have the need to say this sometimes I don't know why I keep on saying always and they go um, how come you guys do this company A and B does it a different way I like I understand if it was something as um, something understandable like say if it was a rip merchandise and the company was blaming the customer for it yeah then I understand like that's something understandable but some things like uh, like I had a situation where we were selling reusable bags, environmental bags for 97 cents. This lady comes in, um, Food Basics sells it for cheap. How come Walmart sells it for 97 cents? Something like it's always been for something that like simpler, that stupid, because you're so cheap to pay the 97 cents that you must bring something like that up. And the thing is, if you know like a certain company does it a certain way and you like the way that they do it why not go there you're more than likely to more than um, likely to go there like why not do that it's not like anyone's forcing you to come and shop at lo this location like you you're the one who's coming and helping yourself to shop there that's something I do not get like it's like you're shopping at a place you don't agree with the policy so, and the very last point I want to make and make is like customers constantly thinking that the associate is wrong and that the 
associate is not providing them the proper service and is trying to have a personal attack against them. But, and for this, I want to really stress that there is only so much the front registers and the registers can do. Like, sure, like, there, there is a special case and possibly you you are the special case where it's a certain, like, a something happened a certain way and it cannot be fixed right away. It has to be done. Like, okay, let me actually explain the situation that I had yesterday. Like, that's, you get that quite often. Like, um, in Walmart, like, if you are eligible to, I don't know how it works in the U.S., I'm mean from Canada, but if you are eligible to get, like, VX ex exempt from a certain tax, with the proper documentation presented to the cashier, you will be eligible for that. And, but it does say on, like, this assigned post that you have to post it or present to the cashier before the transaction because we cannot process it after it has to be done before and it says that right there however this customer waits till the very end until uh, after he's paid and everything to tell the cashier um, uh, hi I have a tax exempt and uh, she tells him I'm sorry sir it's done but how, however I can re-scan everything for you and process your transaction for you with the tax exempt but he doesn't want to accept that he thinks the cashier is trying is like having a personal attack towards him and starts like getting aggressive and swearing at her then she calls me over and I explain the same thing I tell him I'll be more than happy to refund everything for him and repurchase it for him that's not good enough he wants to complain for to the head offices and talk to a much bigger manager the manager then manager comes over explains the same thing to him and then he accepts. He's like, okay, sure, I'll go ahead and I'll do it. It's like, um, like, what difference does it make? Just because she's wearing a, wearing, like, colorful clothing, she's a more, that's a more acceptable answer. Like, that's a really good example that I want to show you because seven times, seven, or I'll say eight times out of ten, the associate always knows, like, what they're doing. Like, if they say, like, a, situation can be handled a certain way they're probably right they're not trying to like just say that just to get a right out of you they're not saying that just to like um, attack you or anything that's because that's the only way it can be processed if there was another way a quicker way of course they would do that for you because uh, because obviously they want to want your shopping experience to be happy and pleasant so you can go home happy and you calling a manager won't really change anything. The only thing managers can do is probably tweak the tweak the policy maybe a bit. Like if there's an exception that only they can really approve that exception. They can't override the system and add like a add an exception to the system because the system is built a certain way to only perform ways ways or procedures that way. It's not like they can come in and just type a magical code and enable it to the system to do it a way that it has never performed itself as if you get what I'm saying so please when associate says that they can help you this way don't argue and fight with them because it's not like they're trying to like I said take you for a ride they're trying to help you as best as they can and honestly talking like asking for a manager because you don't think that they're help like helping you properly is not really doing any good like they're at you're actually just delaying time for the same thing to be done when you could have gotten the same thing done quicker so that's all I want to add there and sorry if I just went on and on like that and again thank you for making that video by the way that video you made about the farts or whatever that was that was so hilarious and you have an interesting family <laughs> And well, have a great day, and I'm out.